Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Flames take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Quick feed to Nurse. Sends the pass in front. Through the middle of the ice. And they're off to the races. It's a 2 on 0 here. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. It's like he almost beat himself out. There was nowhere to go with it. The goalie makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Passes it over to McDavid. And a little body contact on that play. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Toffoli's got the puck along the wing. Oh, on the attack. The Oilers carry it along the wall. And he makes the save. Here's a short pass to Kane. There's back-to-back -back saves. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Hyman swooping in on the attack. And play continues here. Puck picked up by Huberto. It's gone over to Yamamoto. And that's broken up. Go, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Skinner's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Dreisaitl's known for his accurate passing plays. That's his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability, guys, and it's what makes him effective at distributing the puck. Kadri's no-contest zone ability is when he comes up with possession in those 50-50 puck battles to keep the play going. Now, as I send it back upstairs, I'll be watching out for one of these players to give their team a chance to win tonight. Sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. 
The top man advantage group in the league gets to go on the ice for the first time tonight. They'd love to break that tie right here. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Second period set to get underway. The Flames win the draw here shorthanded. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Moves it to the middle. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Rips a laser beam. You'll need more than that to beat him. Angles it over to Weger. Pucks in the net, but the whistle sounds blowing the play dead. Lewis hoping for some puck luck here on this face-off as they continue to play shorthanded. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. The Oilers get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. The score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. There's a hit, and he's trying to leave everything out there on the ice tonight. Quick shot, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. And now it's grabbed by Mangiapane. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still scoreless in this one. The Flames win the draw. Simple detail, win the draw, you can get out of the zone. Gains the zone through center. Big time hit on the play. Came up with a nice save. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Can't get it to go. Taken along the wall by Hyman. Reads the play and forces the turnover. Move turns it away. Now, this is a good save here, James. I mean, he's got to read the play to get into position to make this stop. A difficult one from the slot. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. Edmonton's given themselves control of this game now with a one-goal lead in the second. They'd like to get another before they go in for the second intermission. You'd love at least a couple-goal lead going into period three. Denied by Skinner! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Past the halfway mark of this period. 1-0 the score. McLeod's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. There's a chance in front! Off the stick and they can't complete the play. The Flames will play it in their own end. Gains the zone through the middle. Taken by Kadri. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. McLeod's won the draw. Win the draw after the icing. You possess the puck while they're running around a little bit tired. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Play whistle dead, offside the call. The Flames get a hold of the puck off the draw. Here they come on the attack. The Oilers have it against the wall. Solid hit on the play. 
icing is the call. We'll get a face off at the other end. In the final moments of this period, Edmonton's up one zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Lead pass ahead. Kadri swinging the puck through center ice. Here's a pass to the middle. Shot. And now he moves it to Metropani. An easy save by Skinner. Feeds the puck to shore. Look at this. It's a two on one. Oh, misses. You got to like that he got into a position to shoot the puck. It's a dangerous scoring chance, but he's got to get that on the net. Stop that one. Skinner's probably the one reason that this game is the way it is. His save percentage has been outstanding. No one back the 2 on 0 Oh, he's a nice one. What a save. Now he was locked in on that. The shooter prepares the puck, and the goaltender is right on top of it to make the save. There's the buzzer, two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. We've got period number three yet. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. You know you love to hear Ray Ferraro's takes, and he is between ice level with his assessment of the first two periods. Calgary's going to have to work not to get frustrated here. They've had by far the best chances. The other goaltender, though, has been brilliant tonight. Good hit on the play. Scooped up along the wall by Kane. Toffoli's got the puck through the neutral zone. Look out, here's a two on -0. And that doesn't lead to anything. Apparently he wasn't open enough. He doesn't even really get a dangerous chance. Hyman's got it across the line. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Too much traffic in the lane. Now a quick pass to CeCe. Hammers it on net. Turns him away. And that pass goes off a stick. Break away. the defender from getting to the puck just can't do it and his breakaway is poked away and now he angles it across to Kadri play the belt all alone shots on the goal with the breakaway really good save as the shooter thought he had an opening but it's turned aside once again send out their power play unit. There have been times over the last couple of weeks where this power play looks great, other times not so good. But this is a key moment in this game, a chance to tie it up for the man advantage. The Oilers gain the zone. The Flames take possession in the defensive end. Looks to make a play over to Benjapani. Oh, did he drop a thunderous hit there? Flat-out reaction, James. That puck is coming at the goaltender from the low slot. There's not much time to think. Position, reflexes, same. Peltier's lugging the puck. Slides it on over to Huberto. Two on one. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Oilers aren't that far from a shutout. Hey, if you think they're superstition in it, too bad. They've got a shutout. They're still going to do their best to protect it. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Kadri. Anderson's got it in the offensive end. Tosses it on to Ryan. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. With the backhander. Markstrom's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Here in the late goings of the period, the Oilers have taken a 1-0 lead. Back 
Simmons won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Loose puck battle along the boards. Gets it over to Mangiapane. Fires it, and he comes up with it. Skinner's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Carl and Dave has been with us all night, standing by once again at ringside. Dreisaitl's gone to work, guys, and even though he hasn't been rewarded with a point, I've liked how he's played his game better. Puck sent down the ice. We'll get an icing. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Backlund's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do. Picked up along the boards by CeCe. Puck grabbed by Dreisaitl. Nearing the final minute of the third. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Eckholm. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And he coughs it up with the pass. Back to the blue line. Puck exits the zone. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. And that's offside, stopping the play. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Edmonton's won the draw in the neutral zone. Centering feed! And that's stopped! Kane's got it against the boards. Calgary's got the puck. Right up Main Street and on the attack. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Can't make it work. And now he moves it quickly to Hyman. Oh, what a chance here. Can he make it happen on this two-on-one? Markstrom's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. The Oilers win the faceoff. Easy peasy right there. And this one comes to an end. Paul Maurice once said to me many years ago, show me a good coach, I'll show you a good goalie. There's a good one tonight. Yeah, the team looks good, and the goalie was great. The win that comes on the heels of a solid defensive performance, but when your goalie throws an egg up, it makes everybody look good. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Zabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.